grand opening in Green Bay today. The newly remodeled East Branch of the Brown County Library undergoing a major facelift, the public getting its first look. The doors opening this morning, those doors even opening a few weeks ahead of schedule, we are told. Emily Pryor joins us now with more. Uh, it looks beautiful. How much bigger is this space, Emily, than, than the old one? How fortunate are they? to have this large of a space. Yeah, so the prior space was roughly 6,000 square feet. This new uh, additional space adds more than double that. It is actually 16,300 square feet. So they've got a lot more room for all the activities there. All right, so what does all this expanded space allow them to do? Yeah, so a lot of things are really taking advantage of this space. They have actually added several different study rooms. This is something they didn't have at the prior space. There's a couple different study rooms. They fit between four and eight people. And then they also added this giant space that can be used for meetings. They can fit up to 100 people, which again, if you think of that prior space of that 6,000 square feet, uh, that would have been a really tight fit. So now to have all this additional space, they actually have a space that can be for meetings, public meetings, um, and and you can fit roughly 100 people and they are also going to be offering that up for free of charge for like nonprofits to to host meetings out of if you are um, a, an organization of such they also would charge a small fee if you weren't a nonprofit but for nonprofits they're opening that up to meet for free there all right Emily we, we were looking at some video here while you were talking about it now we're seeing the, this outdoor space and earlier we saw some young kids there we all know especially yeah. parents who have young children like yourself, you mm -hmm. like to go to the library, right? But one of the things that we've heard a lot about is targeting and improving literacy and reading among children. So does this new space allow them to do anything that, that can target that problem? Yeah, they're gonna be able to expand that creativity by also utilizing the outdoor space that's gonna be new to them. So they've got some space outdoors that they're gonna uh, initially do some more uh, readings, whether it be story time or other programs that they're gonna be able to have available. Um, but then they're also, with now their new expansion with the children's area, that's another space that they're gonna be util utilizing for different programs there too. And another thing that I thought was really interesting to note was uh, the way that they're making it more accessible for others. In that meeting room that I mentioned, there's actually going to be a little audio loop is what they called it. So say you are hard of hearing, uh, you can actually attend meetings and be able to hook up your hearing aid to be able to then hear well in, in certain areas if you're looking to attend uh, a meeting or a nonprofit meeting at the library. So there was a lot with this expansion. They're also looking to have uh, a drive up location. So lots of excitement there. I'm actually uh, really excited to take <laughs> my kids there <laughs> and explore the whole new library. All so. right. Well, now you can. It is yeah. open as of this morning. Emily, thanks so much for that update.